Welcome to Section 3, Configuring Windows Server 2019. Welcome back, Configuring the Basics. Thanks, Josh. Let's take a look at configuring the basics with Windows Server 2019. The Server Manager window should open up when you log into Server 2019. If it doesn't, you can find a shortcut on the Start menu. From the Server Manager window, let's go ahead and click on Local Server. Here we'll be able to see some of the important settings related to this server. First, let's take a look at computer name. You can see here that the server has been assigned a name that was randomly generated during the installation. Let's go ahead and change that to something more meaningful by clicking on the computer name. This will bring up the computer name tab under the system properties window. I'm going to click on the change button and here we have a couple options. There's a text box to specify a new computer name and we can also specify a work group or domain for this server as well. I'm going to change my computer name to SVR01. Then I want to add this server to my domain, which is called Corp. When I click OK, I'm going to be prompted to enter the credentials for an account that has access to join computers to this domain. After I enter those credentials, I should get a dialog welcoming me to the domain. Then I'll be prompted to restart the computer to apply the settings. So let's click on OK and close the system properties window. We're now prompted to restart now or restart later. Let's click restart now to continue. Now that we're logged back in, let's go back to local server under the server manager. Now I want to set the server's IP address to use a static IP instead of DHCP. We can access these settings under the ethernet property. Right now, it's set to get its IP address from a DHCP server. When I click on the Ethernet property, it will bring up the network connections under Control Panel. Let's find our Ethernet adapter, right-click on it, and click Properties. Under the Ethernet Properties window, we need to find the Internet Protocol version 4 option and click Properties. On this window, I'm going to change it to use the following IP address. Now I'll be able to enter my IP settings for this adapter. I'm going to use an IP address of 192.168.1.100. When I click on the subnet mask, it will automatically fill in 255.255.255.0, which is the mask that I want to use. And finally, we need to specify the default gateway. In the next section, We'll need to specify the IP address or addresses of our DNS servers since they are no longer provided by DHCP. If we click Advanced, we can add more IP addresses or gateways for this server as well as DNS servers and any WINS settings. Now let's click OK to set the IP settings for this computer and then close the Ethernet Properties and Network Connections windows. In PowerShell, if I run ipconfig slash all, we should see the IP settings that we just set. Another useful setting we can find under local server is the Windows Defender Firewall. Here we can turn the firewall on or off for particular networks, or add exceptions to allow apps through the firewall. We can also configure Windows updates from here. We can click to change the active hours for this machine, and also change some advanced options. Now that we have some of the basics configured, we're ready to move forward with the rest of our configuration.